Coming up on iPads in the Classroom, it's cool apps for classroom management. Hi, my name is Guy Trainen, and this is iPads in the Classroom from Tech Edge. And I want to talk today about cool apps for classroom management. And these are three apps that I think can help any teacher manage her classroom uh, more effectively. And that is one of the things you can do if you have only one iPad in the classroom, or even if you have a full set, but you're doing other things, this is a way to manage the classroom. And I want to start with two short easy to use apps from a company called Dragonfly Apps. The first one is Classroom Timer and it is exactly what you think it is. It is a simple timer that you can set to uh, as many minutes as you want for an activity. So if you want to give students five minutes or ten minutes for an activity, all you do is you go to the setup and then you can set how long. I'm setting it on a very short amount of time just so you can see it for demonstration purposes, but you can see how you can set it for longer periods of time. And then after it's set, you just activate it. There's a physical representation and a clock sound and at the end there's an alarm that goes off and students know that the period to do whatever it, you were supposed to do is over, whether it's a presentation time or writing time or anything else. Easy to use and this one is called Classroom Timer. The next one I want to talk about is Voice Meter and I've talked about apps like this before but I do want to mention it because it is a good way to manage your classroom. When you want your classroom to be quiet, which I hope isn't always, uh, you can use the voice meter to let students know where they are at. So what this does is the louder the voices in the classroom, the more it goes into that zone of too noisy. And just so you would know, you can adjust this so to the levels that you expect out of your students. So you can go to sensitivity and you can make it less sensitive or more sensitive. This is more sensitive, this is less sensitive and after playing with it for a while you will know what you want and then you can see what the effect is. Kids love playing with it. In the beginning they'll make noise to see if they can make it go high and you can actually practice with them and get them used to it but then you can use that as a way to inform your students whether they're too, lo uh, too loud or not in the classroom and you can use it the other way as well. If somebody is presenting or uh, doing some kind of formal speaking in the classroom and they are very quiet, this can provide them the feedback to let them know if their volume levels are appropriate for a presentation. So you can use it both as a way to monitor and make sure sound is down and at the appropriate times that sound is actually clear enough and loud enough. So this one again is from Dragonfly Apps and it can be very useful voice meter. The last app I want to talk about, I'll talk a little while longer, and this one is called 3030. And this is an app that allows you to monitor a classroom timing or personal timing with multiple components. So if the classroom timer was very basic and you can set it every time for the number of minutes you needed, in this case what you can do is actually set a long-term plan so you can plan actually a whole day. And the teacher who showed me this is Ashley from Rousseau Elementary and she showed me how she's using it to manage her whole day. She's got a set day with set timing for most of her activities so she can set it to say for example in the morning I start with writing and we do that for 12 minutes and then if you want to add something you just double tap it and you say what's the next thing we're going to do so let's say we're reading and you can add an icon to it um, here, that's the book icon. And how long we want to do it, let's say we want to do it for 20 minutes. And now 
you've got a second activity. And once you start the clock going, it'll let you know that the next activity is up. So it will sound an alarm every time an activity is over. You can actually extend that activity. So it will say, well, the activity is over. Do you want to extend it some more? If you want to, you can. If not, it'll move to the next activity and you can have as many activities as you want. These are very, very easy to maneuver. So if you want to erase, you just slide it to the right and it's gone. You can also duplicate and play with the other variables. You can create those different icons. So if kids go to art, you can use that. And I think that's a great way to manage your whole schedule, keeping you on track. And for those of us, like me, who have a hard time with time management and sometimes go off on a tangent and then run out of time, this is a way to keep you in line as well as your students. Uh, if you've got individual devices, this is a way to work also with specific students who have a hard time staying on task. They can always glance, see this is the task I'm supposed to be doing right now and get messages and sounds that encourage them to keep on going and to switch when they need to switch. So this one is called 3030 and I think it'll be great as a classroom management app. So today I talked briefly about three apps that will help you manage the classroom and we'll see you next time on iPads in the Classroom.